Price's Sunday Best. Call now. 0151 708 1059. Radio City Talk. Fancy joining us. Give us a ring. Hello, Paul. Hi, Paul. Oh, sorry. Hi, Paul. Hello, P. You've got Hi, a problem man. with cherry pickers. Sorry? You've got a problem with the cherry pickers. I haven't got a problem with cherry pickers. Well, you? I'm a cherry picker. Right. I'm proud to say I am. Right. I earn 200 quid a night. I do four hours a night. Yeah. I wait outside the club. And I don't accept nobody unless they from back and head in my cab. Right. So, so you don't mind if we give your phone number then to the the, uh, the, the, the the guys who work for the taxis? Do what you want, you silly sausage. It's right. very easy go. I smash him. That's All right, good. so what's your problem? If, if them other two people have got something to say about it, bring me back. Okay. How do you mean? Have they got you know, the other two are moaning about it. The jealous ones. Well, no, if you were a genuine taxi driver and you were real, then I could understand you, but... Well, I am real. Get one of them to me back. I'll, I'll give, I'll give, I don't I'll don't give any of them a good debate. Don't believe them. you. I don't believe you for one well, minute. Think you're well, a liar. I don't care. Think you're I a liar. I don't care if you do. I don't care if you, you, if you, you do. Well, I you am. can possibly come on radio and boast about being a cherry picker. Why not? Why do you screw people over? You don't know me. Why do you screw people <laughs> over, you soft... Because I love it. What? I love, I love it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Seven nights a week. Seven nights a week. Four hundred quid a week. Not even seven funny, mate. Week. Not even seven funny. Seven nights a week. Fourteen hundred quid a week. To come out of a dog's bottom. Not seven even nights fit. a week. Fourteen hundred quid a week. Two, See, ladies and gentlemen, he's a liar. Right. So I'll tell you what. Then I will yeah. also give your number to the tax inspector. Yes. So yes. I'll yes. give your number to the bloody world. Whatever you want. My Whatever pleasure. Makes you happy. My pleasure. Okay. Ta-da! 0151 708 1059. Daniel Hewitt from Granada, who we love to death, uh, has put uh, the President of the United States is asked if he believes in climate change. This was his answer. There is a cooling and there is a heating. I mean, look, it used to be climate change. It used to be global warming, right? That wasn't working too well because it was getting too cold all over the place. The ice caps were going to melt. They were going to be gone by now, but now they're setting records. Now they are at a record level. There are so many things happening. I tell you what, I believe in clean air, clear air. I believe in crystal clear, beautiful water. I believe in just having good cleanness and all. That's the President of the United States of America. This event has been suspended. That is his answer. <sighs> Hello, Marie. Hiya, Peter. Hiya. 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 Um, this incident that happened at the um, function yep. the other day, yep. I think there's quite a bit of hypocrisy going on with this. Play. Now, as it's been reported that some men offered this young hostesses money to go to the rooms, one report was £75,000 and have sex with them. Now, if any man's done that, that's a criminal offence. So what I don't understand is in a confined situation like that, how the young girls concerned didn't walk this away, pick the phone suspended. up or go to reception and ring the police and point this gent- so-called gentleman out yep. to them. Because that's, that, that's a confined area. It's not like she was walking down a dark street and was pro- propositioned. It was a confined area, so fa- fairly safe. I'm not, I mean, no one has the right to put the hand up anybody's skirt. That's a totally different thing. It's wrong. But this was a certain. Well, that's a criminal offence. That's it, yeah. But I'm saying, in such a confined area, they could have had them arrested, pointed them out to the police. The other thing is, if these men have done that, the hypocrisy of them is I bet they wouldn't go home and say to their wives and daughters, I've just offered a young girl £75,000 to have sex with me and put my hand up a skirt. So they know but they are wrong for doing that. So there's hypocrisy all round. There was a girl on, it was either GMTV or this morning or the other day, and she was in like a silhouette because she didn't want to be seen. But what angered me was, I mean, in some ways I didn't doubt what she said because there have been a few reports of it, but her words were, she said, I saw young girls sitting on the laps of a lot of these men. Now, if they were sitting on the laps, they were doing that completely consensually. 
So where, where's the, I, I don't understand where the crime is there, where the bad behaviour. I don't understand why they'd want to do it. But they can't claim the men had groped them if they voluntarily sat on the men's knee. It's completely wrong and hypocritical to do that. But a true, if anyone was propositioning me like that, or putting the hand, I'm a lot older now, but at any time I'd put the hand on my skirt, or even still did, I'd be phoning the police. I wouldn't be running to be doing media interviews or anything like that. And I don't understand why the company concerned didn't have representatives there to look after their girls. But I agree with what you said as well. Not that it, it's no one has the right to put the hands on a, on anybody and abuse them like that. But if anyone, not, not offered, at all. if not anyone at all. had offered me a job and said you've got to wear a very tight fitting dress and your underwear's got to be shown and it's got to be very short, I'd be saying no, thank you. I don't want that job at all. I don't because it's it, it's the implication.